Hello and welcome to the sixth episode in this series on how to make a planet defense game. In this particular episode we will be making turrets that can be placed by the player to help the player destroy the enemies as they come down. So just like we've done in the past we will create a new file and we will save this as capital T turret.hx package semicolon at the top to put it in our project class turret extends flex sprite and we import flex sprite and we create our new method um, and this will take three arguments the angle that it should be placed at an X and a Y and just like we've done in the past we need an underscore for the angle and we're going to make the X and Y capitals just so it knows that these are arguments they're not uh, properties of the flex flexplite we already have now we can call super super X Y which Hexflexor uses to make our sprite and we can say angle equals underscore angle. Now in our play state we will create a group just like we've done here um, but instead of enemy group and bullet group we will name this the turret group just like that and we will add the turret group um, let's put it just above the bullet group so that if the player walks over it the player will appear on top of the turret add turret group just like that now we need it so that we can place these turrets so in our update method for now all we're going to do to make it um, make these turrets placeable is we're just going to say right below super.update we're just going to say in a comment um, allow placing of turrets and then here we're just going to say if flex g dot keys dot any just pressed not any pressed any just pressed yeah any just pressed <coughs> so if any of these keys um, just got pressed down then um, uh, actually I don't think I'm going to do it like that I might let's just say if flex g dot keys dot just pressed dot shift so because we're only checking to see if one thing is pressed we don't need to say any just pressed we can just say if flex g dot keys dot just pressed so if shift was just pressed it it's not being held down this frame it was just pushed if it was um if it was uh dot pressed then that would be um, every frame that it's held down and obviously that would mean that we'd be creating um, heaps and heaps of turrets which we don't want um, then we can just say here turret group dot add new turret for the X we will say um, hmm, is that working right um, it wants an angle. I don't think it's recognized that yet, but that's okay. Um, and we can just say player dot angle. So the angle the player's at, uh, the player's x position. So player dot x and player dot y. So basically, um, place the turret exactly where the um, player is. Um, now we need to draw the turret. So you can open up your um, image editing program create a new single sprite it's not going to be animated because it's just a simple turret and um, make it 16 by 16 and then here we will draw a turret um, I don't know really what I'm going to draw I'll just draw I don't know some thing
Okay, so I had no idea what to draw. I just drew this funny looking thing. Um, <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like a turret, but you know, use your imagination. Um, so let's export this thing um, and call it a turret. So save it in your game projects file um, folder, planet defense, assets, images, and we will call this thing a turret. And save it. Now in our code we can load it, so we can say load graphic assets slash images slash uh, turret dot png and this is not animated. I think putting false there is optional but put it there anyway. Um, now let's try and run our game. So you can run it as per usual through the command line. If you use um, uh, an editor like Flash Develop or even Sublime can do this you can build it from within your editor. Alright, so we've got an error on line 6. Um, oh, public function new. I forgot to type new. Right. Now, hopefully, we will be able to place turrets down. Oh my gosh, they look like houses actually do that's awful oh well homes are defending our planet um, and if you uh, you can place multiple on top of one spot but oh well we'll leave that in that's not a big deal in the final game they're going to have to pay with it for each turret with in-game money so now what we're going to do is make these turrets shoot slowly three bullets um, each at a slightly different angle but slower than the player shoots. So like every three seconds, um, it'll shoot three bullets out. So to do that, we can copy some code from our player class. Um, uh, just thinking. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So if we go to our player class, uh, and we've got a variable oh no it's in our play state class sorry um reload timer we can copy that straight out and put it in the turret because we are creating our own timer for the turret it's good practice anyway um creating your own timers in the update method um we're just going to increase the timer by the amount of time that's passed so let's put an update method here as we've done in the past public function update And we just need to call super.update to make sure that works well. And then here we put reload timer plus equals flex g dot elapsed. Then here we can say if, hmm, I've just realized something. Um, yeah, we're going to have to do something we haven't done before, but that's fine. I'll show you how to do it. So if reload timer is larger than actually let's put that two seconds we'll see how that goes in game um, then we have to fire the bullets now in the play state class we can just say bullet group dot add but this turret has no idea what the bullet group is so let's actually just pass that in um, so with the when we create a turret we will pass in the um, the bullet group so I can just say here, bullet group. Now, for this, the bullet group to be remembered beyond just um, the new method here, because we need it in the update method, we have to create a variable. So there, bullet group is of a type flex group. Yep. Equal, uh, yep, is of a type flex group. We don't need to say equals new flex group, because we've already done that in the play state, we're just uh, storing a reference to the bullet group in our turret class. Um, so here we just need to say 
oh, we need to put an underscore here so we know it's an argument. And then we can say bullet group equals underscore bullet group. Then here, hopefully we should be able to, when we place this, pass in the bullet group. And hopefully this will allow us to create bullets from within here. If not, we're going to have to do something else. Um, so here we can just say now bullet group dot add, just like we've done here. Bullet group dot add, and then we put a bullet here. Um, now we don't have reference to the player, but we do have because we're not shooting it from the player. We're shooting it from um, this turret, so we can just get rid of the player. Because if we just have angle, it knows that we're referring to this turret's angle. And that should be fine. Now, that will shoot it straight out, um, directly out of the turret. Now, I want to shoot three bullets. One um, to the anti-clockwise, to the middle bullet. So, let's just say minus 30. Actually, let's make a new variable called spread. And it's of a type int. And it's th this is in degrees, so it's 30 degrees. So this is the anti-clockwise bullet. So it's going to a lesser angle than the middle. It's kind of hard to explain, but um, you know this is the left bullet, and this is the right. So plus spread and minus spread. Um, now, oh, we did forget one thing. Um, reload timer, when it fires, it needs to reset reload timer to zero. Now, hopefully this will work. Type not found flex scope. Um, yep, we used a flex scope here, so we need to import it. Import flexor.group.flex group. Oh, we've got an error still. Um, unknown identifier. Yeah, alright. Two small errors. Import flexor.flexg because we use flexg here. And we forgot to write override here for our update method, which we need because we're overriding flex sprite's default update method. Alright, let's see if it works. Alright, three bullets out. Alright, every two seconds, that's good. Yep, cool. And if we have lots of these, that is awesome. And if we have lots of these, that is very cool. So, obviously, as you can see, we're placing them infinitely at the moment, but, um, in future episodes, we'll be making these cost in-game money, and we will be able to um, get in-game money by destroying enemies. So, thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Um, all of the um, art, code, everything, it's on my GitHub repository, which you can get a link to um, in the description of this video. And if you need help with anything, you can contact me on Twitter with at 5 Thanks for watching.